Hello everyone, Mike Allen here. I want to record a quick video to show you how to add a new profile to your Outlook account for showing or demoing the Office UC 520, 540, and 560 demo kits. Now, a couple assumptions I'm going to make first. One, that you've already installed the Office demo upgrade or the Office demo system process going through the cut and paste for CLI, uh, not only into CME, but also into CUE, and that you've already done the CCA, or the Cisco Configuration Assistant Upgrade, and basically now the step that you're at, everything else is working on the demo kit, you're looking to um, make demoing uh, voicemail and email, or voicemail to email and fax to email a little bit easier. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all versions of Outlook are closed. So down here in the bottom right hand corner of my taskbar, I don't see any Outlook, I don't see any uh, messages, uh, messages waiting, things like that, so I know my Outlook is closed. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my Start button, and I'm going to go over to my Control Panel. From there, I'm actually going to click on the icon that says Mail. Once I open Mail, I'm going to look underneath my profile section right here and I'm going to hit show profiles and then I'm going to add a new profile. Now the profile I've got in here existing is for my Cisco Enterprise Exchange account. That's my corporate email. But not all the time in front of uh, end users do I want to be able to demo um, or when I want to be able to demo do I want to use my actual um, personal email here at Cisco. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and then I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it the Office Demo. Click OK. Now the first thing that pops up, it says Auto Account Setup. I'm going to go down here to the bottom left hand corner and click Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types. Then I'm going to click Next. Internet Email. Connect to your POP, IMAP, or HTTP server to send and receive email messages. Click Next. Underneath the account type, I'm going to choose IMAP because that's the type of email account we're going to be using with the Office Demo Kit. Underneath name, I'm going to name one of the individuals. And in this case, Michael Scott. Underneath email address, I'm going to add mscott at 10.1.10.1. .1, .1. Incoming server, I'm going to name as 10.1.10.1, and that is going to be the same for my outgoing server. Underneath password, just like everything else on the Office Demo Kit, username, first initial, last name, 1234 is my password. Click Next and click finish. Now the last thing I'm going to check here is to uh, sometimes you'll have this one where it says always use this profile. I want a prompt for a profile to be used. This is going to allow it to actually pop up, let me see or let me know which um, email account I want to use uh, when Outlook opens. And again the reason for this is to keep my corporate and my personal email uh, away from my demo purposes. So now that we've got everything else done, I'm going to click Apply. Then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to come down here to my Quick Launch toolbar and launch Microsoft Outlook 2007. And you'll notice now I've got a little pop-up that says Choose Profile. I'm going to select the Office Demo. Click OK. take just a second to load. Now one thing I'll point out at this point you want to make sure that you are connected to a UC or SBCS product via the Ethernet cable and the reason for that obviously is that I'm not going to be able to see my messages until I'm connected. Perfect! Now you see, just uh, starting up Outlook, um, it's already downloaded the account, uh, the M. Scott profile account that we've already selected. 
So you'll notice that I've got a message from Pam Beasley. I've got my wave attachment. I can click it right here or double click. Hit play. And my message will automatically begin to start playing. So hope this helps anyone that was looking for additional help in how to configure their voicemail client. Um, if you had a fax uh, mailbox or if you'd like to configure additional users to this, uh, one of the things that I've done in the past is actually had uh, M. Scott, D. Schrute, P. Beasley, four or five different mailboxes that I can show all down in here. Um, those things are okay to do as well. But um, at this time, I'll go ahead and end this video, and thanks for watching. Good selling.